I don't know if this bodes well for our little canoe trip here. I'm hanging out with my good buddy, Jim Abernathy. Yes, always an adventure when you hang out with Jim. What's up, Jim? I'm excited about today. Yes. Who knows what we're gonna find? Jim does a lot of work. He's basically as close to Aquaman as you're gonna find here on the planet. Uh, he runs something called Jim Abernathy's Shark Adventures, where he takes people all over the globe to dive with the apex predator of the ocean. He's also an active conservationist, and today we're gonna head on out. We're gonna go check out a project he's been working on for a long time uh, with the state of Florida, uh, with the manatees, but there's another special treat we may run into. Yesterday, uh, one of my friends spotted a leatherback turtle. It's stuck here in the intercoastal, right where we are right now, somewhere, and I'm hoping that we can um, find it and then call the FWC. All right, well, there you go, everybody. So today, it's a bit of a treat. Uh, who knows what we'll find? Uh, we may be up this creek without a paddle because we do have a little bit of a leak here, Jim. <laughs> We need to synergize with this paddling to be honest. He didn't tell me how much work this was gonna be. As oh, I'm recording. This is where all the little, all the fish start. Well, we are still on the hunt for some manatee, but what we've noticed is there's not a lot of seagrass uh, currently uh, on the floor. So that obviously is gonna attract those uh, marine mammals to it. But we're gonna keep on looking but I just thought I'd take a break and show you guys how beautiful the mangroves are here and why this is such an important part of the ecosystem for the marine life and also for erosion. And uh, for me personally, I think it's a beautiful thing to look at uh, rather than giant uh, buildings. So um, definitely got to protect this type of ecosystem. Since the manatees were a no-show, and that leatherback most likely found its way back out to sea, we figured we'd head to a secret spot of Jim's to find some green turtles. Okay, so we're pretty tired because we just paddled all the way across the Jupiter Inlet. There's the inlet way out there, and uh, the current was pretty good, huh, Jim? Yeah, it was strong. Yeah, but we're in a place Jim likes to call Turtle Town, and this is an area where we get to see a lot of green sea turtles. So we're hoping we're going to be lucky. Didn't find any manatee up there, but I still want to be able to get you guys. I think over here I got a turtle. Go ahead. Turtle Push me forward. Yeah, I think I got a small turtle. It's, it, oh, yeah, it's right there. It's a turtle, all right. Oh, it's a juvenile green. Straight ahead. Oh, look at this, guys. Off to the left. I'm going to keep going. Oh, this is so cool. Little juvie. Woo! What we need to do? We need to beach the boat and... Uh, Swim, right? Sounds good to me. We're gonna get in the water, we'll be right back. Oh, that's awesome. Okay guys, here we go. What makes this place so special is that the seagrass here attracts young turtles. They come here to feed on it because it's sheltered from larger pelagic or open ocean predators. It also means these turtles are way more wary. This guy didn't stick around long at all. That was so cool. Oh, looks like Jim's found one also. Let's go check it out. I always feel so lucky to be able to see these guys. And you know what? There's not too much difference between these guys and my tortoises at home. They both love to eat grass. Awesome. Uh, it was just looking for turtle grass riding along the bottom. Okay. Yeah, when you called out yours, I just happened along another one. So it's just, yeah, it was random, so that's cool. But let's, uh, let's see if we can find him again. Okay. Found him. And he's gone. But luckily for us, 
Jim found this beautiful specimen casually cruising along. This turtle was super cooperative. He had a tag most likely from my other buddy, marine biologist Larry Wood. Nothing beats the experience of swimming with one of these gorgeous animals. It's been a crazy couple of months for all of us. We all need a break from the insanity. I'm personally happy I was able to get out and enjoy this moment right here in my own town. I figured, you know what? Why don't I just shut up, relax, and let you enjoy the shots this green turtle was willing to give us. So, how was that? That's pretty amazing, man. He's still here. This guy, he just left. <laughs> he just split. Yeah. Oh, well, Turtle, Turtle Town definitely does not disappoint, Jim. And the cool thing is, is that it's, it's cool to see sea turtles in a different environment. This is kind of more like a, almost I'd say like a nursery in, in so many ways. There are younger turtles here. Yeah, yeah, these are all small green turtles, which grow to hundreds of pounds. Wow. But they've, they've chosen this little area, Turtle Town, because of the turtle grass. And, and it's all about being able to access food in a safe environment. Now, there are some things that, uh, uh, for the beginning, you know, it took us a while to find them. Yeah. And, and, uh, and you notice it's, we would go through pockets where it was really clear and then yep. really terrible. Yeah. And, but there was something going on in my mind, you know, because it's all about the noise. And there's these cranes right, that I was are thinking dropping that. things uh, and smash, smash. And, and I thought, you know what? If I was an animal, I would get as far away as I could from here. And you know what, guys? You guys love turtles. You know I do. If you're a turtle, you like things nice and peaceful. Yeah. You know? Um, however, the, the uh, interesting thing about sea turtles is they are so graceful and agile when they need to be. A few of them that we saw would angle their shell towards us because that's what they do to evade a predator. If a shark's coming at them, they just turn that shield right towards them, make it more difficult for a predator to kind of lock on to them. I, I, man, it's so much fun and it's such a great joy to be out here with you. Uh, I, you definitely, we're definitely gonna be doing more together. Uh, what I want you guys to do, what I want you guys to do for me is head on over to Instagram and check out Jim on Instagram. Jim, what's your Instagram handle? Jim underscore Abernethy, A-B-E-R-N-E-T-H-Y. Yeah. Okay, so guys, go check him out because you will not believe what he is able to do with animals under the sea. 
and the photography this guy gets, it's just second to none. Especially the sharks. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to go on a shark dive with him. Absolutely. All right. It's been great, but I think yeah. what we'll have to do is uh, we'll have to revisit Manatee. Man. Yeah. Well, right? absolutely. luckily for me, this is my town. And, and maybe uh, with a canoe that doesn't sink. <laughs> that's good, too. You look at it over there. It's draining. <laughs> it's it's yeah. draining. We're draining it out. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for being a part of our little adventure today. We'll be bringing you more as the uh, weeks, years, months, everything unfolds. We'll see you soon. Don't forget. Ciao. See ya.